here we got motherfucking Nintendo Switch. Now, you may be thinking, why do I got this Nintendo Switch? Because it came out. What, what rock are you living under? Come on, man. Program. I also got Breath of the Wild. Let's see. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Let's, let's struggle to get this out. Now, oh no. I, knew I, I told you I was going to hate these bags. These bags are my mortal enemy. The one with the Xbox One, the one with the Xbox 360. Now this right here, this is smaller than I expected. <laughs> Uh, but this this is the switch. This is the console itself. It's got a nice little kickstand. I think I uh, can't get it to pop out. There we go. Nice little kickstand Props itself up just like that. Do I need to move it? Yeah, so okay right here's good. Yeah, that, that's fine. All right. All right, so I got that now to move on to joy cons now I was a little little late to the party, so I only got the regular Joy-Cons, otherwise I would have totally gotten the red and blue ones. But, oh man, I feel really good. Feels really, they're, they're really, it feels really good in my hand. I'll have to double check that whenever I've played the game for a while. But for now, for now they just feel like, let's see, oh man, I could really get used to this. They're really good. They're also a lot smaller than I expected. I was expecting the Switch and the whole system to be a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't mind too much. This will make portability a lot easier. Let's see. Ooh. Kind of love that. Kevin, I'm going to try and move up. Let's see if you can get this. Oh, I love it. Best sound. 10 out of 10. Oh. You can put the micro SD card goes into the uh, where the kickstand is. That's interesting. That's a good placement for it. Probably. I mean, I don't know where else you put it. Top, bottom, sides, in the Joy Cons. Possibly all of the above have like four or five micro SD slots. I mean, this thing does only have 32 gigabyte storage inside of it, which is kind of BS. Uh, my Xbox One, for instance, full terabyte. But I'm not going to criticize it too much until. Uh, these are just cables. We don't care about cables. Hey, not a cable. Who gives a fuck? Cable's boring. What are you? Ah! Poor cable, probably. Ah, here we go. Never mind. Now, this is the controller. It's not the Pro Controller, I wish I had it. I'm probably going to be picking that up soon and I might do a review on it too if you guys like this one. Let's go ahead and disconnect the controllers. And then I'm going to go ahead and try and slip this in here. It looks like it'll keep track of the charge on your Joy-Cons, which is really nice. However, this is not the one that'll charge your Joy-Cons, which is less nice. And that feels pretty good. I mean, it's not nearly as ergonomic as, say, the Xbox controller or even the Wii U Pro controller, but it is pretty good. I think I will enjoy it, and it is about this size. Did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah. Okay. It's really good. Really tiny. This whole system is a lot smaller than I realized. I went into this not knowing most of anything because I like to do things without knowing. It only gets me into trouble most of the time. And now we have the actual base. This thing is so much smaller than I thought it would be. This is going to be great for uh, traveling it anywhere because <laughs> it's just so tiny. Now here's the base. Uh, I guess we'll get a zoom in on this. And besides that, I don't think there's much of anything noteworthy. Uh, this is where all the cords go in. You put this down, so it's gonna be, it's got a little hole. So I love cable management, and I don't think I've seen very many consoles that utilize cable management. Now, I guess let's get this, let's get the, uh, the switch into Dock it. See what that. I guess that's docks. It's really hard to tell without it being plugged in. So this is this is what the whole thing looks like. Like on its own. It's really tiny. I'm gonna leave you 
with a cartridge look. Look at the cartridge. If I can get the thing off the plastic. I used to be a professional. I used to professionally take these off. Like, I get a new game and it was like, I used to be able to snap. I used to be, thank you. I used to be able to do a lot of things. <laughs> I'm an old has-been these, whoa. <laughs> was it smaller than what you thought? It's placed really weird. Okay, so this is the case for Breath of the Wild, standard edition. Did I move it in a stupid way? Uh, it's good, it's good. Yeah, okay. it's good now. Now this, that is the cartridge. Whoa. I know, uh, it's really weird that they place it all the way at the bottom. On the way home from GameStop, I was just talking about like, this could, this could be so much smaller, because I saw what the cartridge looked like. And uh, one more thing to leave you with. <laughs> Can't believe I'm about to do this. Um, what are you gonna do to compare been, it to your pinky? There's been reports that, well actually Nintendo themselves have confirmed that they coat these cartridges in what is, I don't remember the exact uh, chemical, but it's the most bitter formula for a uh, substance. They'll put it in rubbing alcohol and stuff that you're not supposed to put in your mouth. So I'll put, I'll, I'll put it in my mouth. <laughs> and we, I wanna, uh, fuck, there's no easy way to do this. So let's just like, see if it's, yeah, that's terrible. Really bad. Now, you may be wondering why they. Did, Jesus fucking Christ. You may be wondering why they did that. It's uh, obviously. Can we get a zoom in on yeah. this? I don't know if that's possible with this camera. I mean, I have to really zoom in on that. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh my uh, god! I mean, you guys, now, you guys seeing this? This is so small right. that they're really worried that children will just like swallow it, which is a pretty fair thing to be scared about. So they they coated all their cartridges in this substance, which is terribly bitter, terribly bitter. <laughs> Uh, I regret doing that, and I regret doing it even more so on camera, because now there's proof that I will just lick anything. So, on that note, I think it's time to end this uh, unboxing. Expect a review of the Switch in less than a week, and I will see you in the next video.